Hey, good morning. Kyler Hawthorne here from Veracity Motors. Just wanted to shoot you a real quick walk around video on our 2016 Subaru Legacy Premium that we have here on the lot. This one has about 60,000 miles on it. We've got it Veracity value priced at $17,800. So I'll go ahead and show you the overall condition of it, some of the features it has to offer and everything like that. All right, here it is, the 2016 Subaru Legacy. This is a very nice car. Like I mentioned, only 60,000 miles on it. It's got tons of features. Great all-wheel drive out of these Subarus as well. Get you through pretty much anything. And this one is a great size as well. Being the Legacy, a little bit more of a full, uh, full body car. So plenty of room for passengers and all of that different stuff. This one does have a nice set of wheels on it. And the tires have plenty of life left in them. This one also has a nice reverse camera just below the Subaru le uh, logo here on the trunk. Now, this one does have some uh, body damage to it. Um, it's nothing major and it is everything we are planning on fixing. We're just waiting for the shop to become available here. But up on this front fender, there is a small dent as well as a little bit of scraping. And then back here on the door, this is kind of the big one here. So there are some pretty deep scratches as well as a little bit of denting on that body line. Now, like I mentioned, this is all getting fixed. We are just waiting for the shop to become available. And again, it's all cosmetic. Uh, nothing is broken behind the door or anything like that. Um, just a little bit of uh, you know paint flaws and a little bit of dent damage. There is also a small um, kind of scraping and denting back here on this rear fender. And again, we are planning on fixing all of this. There are also just a couple of small rock chips up in this front bumper. Again, nothing major there. Pretty common wear and tear. Other than that though, it's in excellent condition. And like I said, we are planning on fixing all of that. So nothing to worry about. That's basically what the exterior is looking like though. So we'll go ahead and move on to the interior. Here's what the trunk space is looking like. Nice big trunk on here, plenty of space inside. You also have this really nice factory all weather floor mat back here. So keep the carpet nice and safe. You've also got a little bit of under floor storage on this one for any sort of roadside equipment or anything you might want to throw in there. And then you can also fold this second row down. Uh, you just pull these levers and uh, go up front there and that second row will drop right down into place. And here's what things are looking like in the second row. Like I mentioned before, it is the full body car. So plenty of space in the second row for passengers. You've also got a fold down armrest with some cup holders here in it. And the seats are a black cloth and they're in excellent condition. And then back here on the door, it's kind of what things are looking like. You've got a nice spot for a bottle or something like that. A little bit of storage in there as well. And then you got a nice silver trim on the, uh, on the doors here. Here's what things are looking like on the passenger side of the car. Again, you got that black cloth interior over here in excellent condition. You've also got a power lock and power window, uh, one touch automatic roll down on that. You've also got a little bit of storage here as well as another bottle holder. And then again, that silver trim on there, very nice. All with the floor mats all the way throughout the vehicle. And then you got a nice big glove box in here, plenty of storage space for anything that you'd want to uh, throw in there. And here's what things are looking like on the driver's side. Again, black cloth interior, excellent condition. 
All of your seating controls are just down on the side here. So you got that power adjustment. You can adjust the backrest as well as the lumbar support. And over on the door. Again, you got that bottle holder down below as well as a nice little storage compartment. And then you've got your power windows, power locks, power window locks, and power mirror adjustments. And then hopping into the driver's seat. Here's kind of what things are looking like from the driver's seat. Got a real nice digital center stack on there. Lots of great driving information available for you. If you want to change any of that information that's displayed at the top there, all you have to do are use these arrows down here on the bottom of the steering wheel. And you can scroll through uh, all of the different information that's available there to you. A few other steering wheel controls that you have. So over on the right side here, you've got your cruise control settings. Now this one has what uh, Subaru calls the EyeSight package. So you've got adaptive cruise control as well as lane guidance. And then it's also got the blind spot monitors in the mirrors and the pre-collision detection system on it. So uh, very nice safety features there. Um, on the left side of the steering wheel, this is gonna be more of your radio controls. So you can adjust the volume with this up and down button. You can also mute the system with this button in the middle here. And then you can skip through different songs or stations. Uh, if you wanted to pull up the menu options, uh, you can uh, just hit this little menu button and it'll pull that up for you on that, uh, that touch screen there. Just below that, you can change the source of what's playing. You also have your voice recognition assistant, your answer and end phone calls buttons. Uh, just behind the steering wheel, you've got your paddle shifters for the manual mode. And then just behind that, you've got your multifunction switches for your blinkers, brights, as well as your lights. And then on the right is gonna be your uh, windshield wiper controls. Over on the dash, you've got a few different controls over here. So you can open the trunk from up front here. You've also got the panel dimming, so you can turn that up or down. Uh, you know, if it's bright or uh, dark out, you can turn that down so you can see out of the vehicle a little bit easier. Got your traction control, you've got your blind spot monitor, your lane guidance, and your pre-collision that you can all shut off if you'd like to. And then over in the middle here, this is kind of what your entertainment section's looking like. It's got the AM as well as the FM, the satellite radio, and then it's also got the Bluetooth on it. So got pretty much all of the modern capabilities. Got your CD player up top, your volume adjustment, as well as your tuning knob. And then you can kind of select through the different menu options that are available there. Like I mentioned before too, you also have a nice reverse camera on here. Makes it nice and easy to back in or out of parking spaces. Uh, and then just below that is gonna be your climate controls. So you got the heated seats over on the left and then uh, your passenger heated seat on the right there. Dual climate control, so you can set the temperature individually for each side of the vehicle. This one also has that automatic mode, so you can uh, basically just set the temperature and it'll adjust the fan speeds for you, temperature coming out of the vents, all of that different stuff. And then you've got your different position selectors, your fan speeds, your rear defrost, as well as your mirror defrost, your front defrost, um, pretty much everything there. Just below that, you got a nice storage cubby here with a charging port in it, as well as your auxiliary port, and then a couple USB ports just uh, to the right of that. And then you got your shifter, as well as another little um, storage cubby type thing, your cup holders, your electronic parking brake, uh, overall very well laid out. Just behind that, you've got a nice big center console on here, uh, plenty of storage space in there, as well as another charging port in there. And then here's just kind of another general overview of how everything is looking in the Subaru Legacy. All right, so like I said, just a real quick walk around on our 2016 Subaru Legacy. Super nice car, it does have a few minor body, uh, you know, cosmetic issues with dents and scratches and things like that, but we are planning on fixing that. If that was something you could live with, we could discount the uh, vehicle to reflect the cost of that. Um, but we are planning on fixing it as of now. So if you have any questions, if there's anything else you want to see, just let me know. You can always reach me here at the store, 701-258-2277. Thank you.